Okay, so I'm supposed to be cooking <laughs> and doing other stuff, but we decided that we are going to be more productive if we're gonna go for a walk. So we are back from the walk and I wanted to share this book with you guys Ginger for Health 100 amazing and unexpected uses for ginger This book, this is from the library but I think I'm going to purchase this This is amazing, this is awesome <laughs> The backstory for that, I've got ginger from Costco. If you're familiar with Costco, you know it comes in a big amount. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how am I going to process this lots of um, ginger. And I wanted to share a few information here. It can improve iron observation, reduces bad cholesterol, regulates insulin levels and I know some of you have some issues with diabetes so that's something to keep in mind reduces sugar cravings guys this is amazing so there's so many other fights depression improves circulation so there's so many great things that it's a hundred things that has and there are some way to use it and I'm going to show you how I process this lots of ginger I got for Halloween and two of them already is rotten so I have to cut them up and bake them immediately so this is our last one that seems to going bad as well so I just let Max have fun with that and then I'm going to bake it and I'm going to make a pumpkin puree that I already made a video on that um, how I make them I just bake them, put them into a white and mix with some water and then I use that for a pumpkin pie or a, or a breakfast bar so I will link that video down below for you guys if you want to make that pie because it's so good but now I'm going to make some lentil soup and it's from Red Lentils and it cooks very fast so it's very easy to make and also I'm going to make that amazing drink that is helps my immune system and when we're fighting with cold and yeah you do that i do that
okay so max is done and i'm going to bake this tomorrow so make sure it doesn't go bad and i got my lemon and i can use this i use this every single day so i keep it in the refrigerator with my ginger and also i have some frozen ones so i put it in a freezer a few now i just have to pop them out and put that into a container look at how beautiful it is so if the recipe calls for it i don't have to peel on anything it's ready to use husband is home and he is making another project <laughs> yeah we always have something but now this is gonna be a solution for the books so he is making a long and narrow tall bookshelf for the boys it's the same that we have in the boys closet if you have seen it you know what i'm talking about so that was originally a book shelf but when we moved in that's what i was able to use very fast to organize the boys clothes so it stayed there but we need something to keep the books in because right now that we have the tables in their room that little cabinet went out but we had the books in and that cabinet is in the garage we are planning this to put up on the wall and that's gonna be an area where i can package all those prints that i'm planning to sell eventually okay so the shelf is done the boys did a great job with that they are cleaning up now and now we're going to have a space for uh, the homeschooling. Ah, uh, there's an ant. Ah, dang it. There's another one. So now we can put all the books, library books and the books that we own and everything on this one. just me who's knocking on the wall he's knocking on the wall too yeah now unfortunately there's no start bit <laughs> right here there's not a single yeah because there's here. one where i put up the shelf yeah so there's one over uh there's might be there might be one over here then should be one if this is on sixth i mean this is in the stud then we have to have i don't remember i know that one is in stud i think so i mean it's very sturdy mm -hmm. that's in the stud so and i put it up there and there should be one in here then because usually yeah 16, 16 apart okay yeah let's go is it good mm. yeah uh can you try to push to the left if it touches the table how does it look like can you take off that picture please because it's kind of too much yeah let's see now it should sound bad okay now i can decide this way or in the middle either here or in the middle <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I think Max would be able to reach the shaft if it's closer. Okay. I think we decided on to have it in the middle. Not on the left, not on the right, but it's on the middle. Okay, okay so we're going to put away the books very fast because then I have to go to a class. Uh, <laughs> a hip hop class. So, we have to be fast in 30 minutes.
what I'm really happy about is that we have an area where we can store the library books. This is very important when you live in a small house. Everything has to have a place where they belong. Otherwise, you can't walk. <laughs> so, and since we're bringing out so many books, we have to create a space for that because basket won't do it. It's not enough and it's just easier to look it that way. Max can even reach it from here on the bunk bed. So, Mainly we're going to keep his stuff up there.